He's a cheerleader. But he helps out in the locker room. But I think the, his main job here is to keep the guys, you know, loose. It's uh, a way for the guys to kind of forget about what's going on for a little bit, and they kind of have fun with them. Marley Mo Sommer is the locker room attendant for the San Jose Barracuda. From picking up the gear go, to folding the jerseys, <laughs> Mo helps make sure everything is in order. He has been involved with the San Jose Sharks organization since his dad joined the minor league staff more than two decades ago. When Mo was born, he was he was born with Down syndrome, and then uh, 23 years ago we brought him up to Stanford, and he was diagnosed with autism. But that has not taken away Moe's love for sports and hockey. From the moment he first stepped in the locker room, he was accepted by all players with open arms. He's, he's part of the American Hockey League. I mean, it's, a diff it's different a little bit, but we treat him like, like a brother. At first, it kind of takes a while maybe to remember you or, or learn your nickname, but once he knows you, it's awesome. No matter if you're having a good day or a bad day, just... He's a guy that'll put a, guy, a smile on your face every morning. After morning practice on game days, it's off to Solar for America Ice, where he puts in his daily treadmill work. 65 minutes every time. Like everything Mo does in life, he is always consistent. He's very regimented, and he's got you know certain uh, things he does every day. He's super organized. Like when he hangs the jerseys up, they're always an inch apart. When the towels are folded, you know, all the corners are together. It may take him a little while, but everything's like perfect. He works through his days with a smile on his face and not a care in the world, just like anyone else. To me, I think it's, it's you know, he's just a mo. You know, with, without this, I don't know what he would do. I think he would actually be lost. But anyone who has a kid with special needs, you know, uh, you know, they need to be a part of things. When he's not at the ring, Mo is part of greater opportunities in San Jose an organization that provides services to those living with developmental disabilities. This includes all of Moe's friends here. After morning skate, school, and his workout, Moe heads here to the SAP Center for the game, where he always has the best seat in the house. He was invited into the, you know, the Sharks organization. They've been unbelievable with him. You know, they, like I said, he travels on the bus with me. He'll... You know, sometimes he'll fly and go on all the road trips, and he knows everyone in the arena better than I do. The 2018-2019 season has been good to San Jose, but no matter how much success there is, Mo always wants to cheer on a win. Sometimes things don't go our way, but there's worse things, and it's just, at the end of the day, it's just a game, and um, you just got to see the big picture, and I think he helps the boys do that. And he's the first guy to walk in the locker room after a loss and, uh, and let us know, so... Sometimes it's funny, sometimes you know you feel bad, you let him down. On this night, the Cuda did not disappoint. He danced to his favorite song, Cotton Eye Joe, and celebrated three goals in a San Jose win. It was all smiles for Mo. As he walked back from his seat, the moment of celebration between father and son showed that there is more to this relationship than what meets the eye. Hey, he's my best friend. I don't look at him as a person that has a disability. I just look at him as a... Uh, you know, fun-loving kid. To end the day, Mo walks off into the night with his hands in the air after another Barracuda win. Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.